Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mad as a Goat. Firstly, I would like to apologise for the state that I will be in whilst this video is being recorded. I am a little bit inebriated on the legal drug alcohol. Mmm, alcohol, what a great fantastic time. I have made it quite apparent that I am a pothead in previous videos and most of my videos are conducted in that manner. And a lot of the time they have energy or passion or whatever they do have, I'm not even aware of them because I can go to, to a liquor store and get some poison. Oh, isn't it great? Isn't it wonderful? What a, what a fucking delightful society we live in. This? Totally fine. Mm -mm -mm. That cancer is good for you. Get that in you. Mm, $20 a packet. Nice cross-eyes fuck. And then go to the store. $50 for... 24 of these motherfuckers. What a privileged society we live in. Well, maybe I want to relax. Well, that's unfortunate because if you want to just kick back, maybe smoke one or two scubes, you're going directly to fucking jail. What the fuck is wrong with you? You trying to get a fine? Who you trying to impress? What's wrong with you? You trying to impress people with your pot smoking? You trying to be a big man? Really? This... Shit is fucking the worst. I am not even joking right now. Okay? See, I know what this shit does. I fucking saw it, man. <laughs> like, when I was young. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit personal, a little bit deep. So, get your tissues out. When I was young, obviously I was born from a woman. Unfortunately, said woman is no longer alive. What could you blame for these things? What could you blame? I don't blame anything. Shit happens. But I did see before she died a lot of fucking horrible shit to do with this. I saw pass outs at the table. I saw verbal and physical lash outs. I saw hallucinations. And even at the end, the overall consequence of this type of social behavior. <laughs> It's ridiculous to me. Oh, the government said to look after you. The government said to look after you. Trust your government. Vote for your leaders because they're there to look after you. I feel real safe. Oh, I can go and get a license and get a gun. Makes me feel even safer. Someone who's really intelligent, possibly a soci sociopath, could potentially get a gun. I feel so safe. Why don't you just turn on your TV? What's on there? Bank robberies, rape, murder, all sorts of shit you don't even want to think about. The other day I get home from work, sipping that legal tender, turn on the television, four kids ran over by a goddamn four-wheel drive. Oh, that's wonderful. We live in such a safe society. We're all so safe. Everyone's so worried about safety. You know what the safest thing to do is? If you want to be completely safe, stay inside all day. Don't go outside. Don't expose yourself to danger. The only place where you can control your elements perfectly, or at least to a reasonable amount, is inside. Oh, what if someone breaks in? You've got rooms. You've got all sorts of things laying around. You're able, hopefully, you know, to defend yourself. But go out in the elements and bad things could happen. We all live in fear of these things, but really, the thing we should fear the most is hypocrisy. Think about the hypocrisy. Don't smoke weed. You'll turn into a crazy person. You ever been to the city and seen a bar? I'd call that goddamn crazy. Craziest thing I've ever goddamn seen. Man, I, I was coming back from a cannibal corpse gig. And there's people going crazy by the bar on the legal tender. I listened to hours of <laughs> kind of music. People jumping around, waving their hair, getting all crazy. Not many women. But anyway, pretty safe. Felt pretty calm. Everyone's having a jolly good time. Go outside. That legal tender comes into play. And I see a bunch of people acting like high schoolers. 
We're talking about 30 year old men, we're talking about people in their 20s acting like they're in a fucking high school drama sort of thing. I expected them to break out in flash mob or start singing, you know, maybe something like Glee, a guy in a wheelchair comes out, you're looking at it, you're scared, but at the same time it warms you up right here. You feel it, it just hits you in the right way. I'm not angry, I'm not against really anyone. Not against anyone. I don't really have an issue with anyone unless they have an issue with me. And it's really only when physical comes involved that I get a problem. I'm a reasonable person. But I do get mad. Mad as a goat. Maybe not understandable to you, but it's a metaphor for me that I kind of understand. Kind of, I made it up. Of course I understand it. Look what this has done, man. You know my rant. You know what I do. You know how I rant. If you've been watching these, you know what to expect. On an illegal drug. Illegal tender. And even I can tell as I record this, it just sounds dark. Honestly, listen to the shit I'm spouting. This is fine. Cigarettes are fine. But 100% natural is something just wrong with it. Something all fucked up with it. I can't even believe that. And oh, what if they do let every drug be legal? Obviously there'll be backlash. Some people will take advantage of it. But some people take advantage of alcohol. Some people take advantage of cigarettes. They get left in the hospital. It clogs up the hospitals. You start bitching about it. You're complaining about a problem that you're making. <laughs> it's like... Fuck. And then you give us depressants. Like, oh, you had a great day? Well... Have you heard of depression? Yeah, fuck. People dying from this shit all around the world. Okay, you make your taxes off it, but don't tell me it's for my good. Be honest, we make taxes off it. That's what you do. If you got weed out there, you're gonna make taxes off it. I assume with the medical system they have in some regions where they do have medicinal marijuana, taxes are made off that. Not for my good. Not for all of our good for the good of the people who have enough money to enjoy it. Thanks. Mad as a goat.